Let's talk about seven different side hustles that you can start this year, especially if you're very busy, you're working a day job, then these are perfect for you. You can make an easy $200 extra per day, especially as a beginner. So for each of these, I will go over the skills that you need, the money that you can make, where you can get started. The first one is virtual assistant. Businesses online are growing and virtual assistants are high in demand. The skills for a VA vary from administrative skills, social media, bookkeeping, website design, customer service, email management, scheduling meetings, making calls, organized data, and so much more. A VA is a remote assistant, so you can easily work from the comfort of your home. Now, the money you can make ranges from $10 an hour to $40 an hour on average. But with a bit of experience, it easily can go up to $100 an hour. Now, where can you get started? Fiverr and Upwork. And Upwork is definitely my favorite because I've been using it. I've made several videos on how you can get started easily and I will link to them right below. The next side hustle is actually how I got started to make money online while I was still working my corporate job. And that is teaching English and foreign languages. The skills that you need, your language, your native language is all you need. Now, I love languages and I was teaching English, French, Dutch, mainly those actually. Now, the misconception there is, is that you need a degree or that you need certain certification. None of that. I have no degree, no certification, nothing. Maybe you have to start teaching spelling or grammar. None of that. All I was doing is teaching conversational language because a lot of people, they want to move to a new country or study abroad or work with other people from other countries. And all they need is conversations. And so that's what I was giving just conversations easy. Okay. And that's exactly how I started making money. And that is one of the side hustles that could easily turn into a full-time income. So the money that you can make, I think I started at $5 for 30 minutes. Okay. Very low. However, it easily got up to $40 an hour. Websites where you can get started at no cost are Preply or Preply. I don't know how you pronounce it. Italki and the ones that I started with were Ripe, Verbling and Olalang. So you sign up, you create a profile as a teacher and you use their platform to get students. So you don't have to go after students and finding people. No, they provide it for you. And that's the easy part. The next two side hustles are starting active, but then they turn into passive. So you literally make money while you sleep. And so the number three side hustle is sell digital products. Digital products, unlike physical products, are so much easier to create, to maintain, to sell. There is no storage. There is no shipping cost involved or hassle. <laughs> it's so much easier and cheaper than physical products. And the profit margin is higher. Examples are eBooks, printables, PDFs, journals, music, movies, events, apps, fonts, photos, the list goes on. And the skills you need are depending on your creativity. But here's a warning, because this is where a lot of people get overwhelmed with the amount of ideas and information out there and influencers talking about it. Which one do you choose? So the biggest tip I can give you is to decide based on your skill. What is your talent? What is it that you love doing and that you're skilled at? For example, you're good in speaking, then go for an audio or a video or a webinar. If you're good at writing, no brainer, go for writing eBooks. If you're good at designing, then fonts or creating templates. If you're good at teaching a skill or knowledge that you have, then you will love the next side hustle I'm about to mention. The money you can make, it varies, but easily several thousands. Now, where can you get started? It depends on the type of product that you're making. So for example, if you're creating eBooks, then Amazon is the biggest platform. I have all my books on Amazon. Why? It's a huge marketplace. The audience is big and you can leverage their audience. Other platforms that you can get started at no cost are Gumroad, Etsy, Creative Market, and Payhip. The next side hustle is to sell your knowledge through online courses. And it's actually easier than you might think. 
and one of the first ways that I also started making money while I was still working my job. If you like this content so far, then please hit that like button and the subscribe button because I love making videos for you so that you can earn more money and quit your nine to five rat race. Selling your knowledge, how to do something. Examples of courses that you could create with your skills are languages, IT, software, photography, music, instruments, singing, personal development, meditation, website creation, designing, and so much more. I made courses on self-confidence, on moving abroad, settling in abroad, entrepreneurship, and others. So the skill you need is sharing your knowledge. What is something that you're good at, a skill, something that you can explain to somebody else how to do something. If you like video, then make video courses. It could be literally written, a written course with written worksheets. It can be just audio recordings as well. Take the students step by step through so that they know how to do what you know how to do. Where can you get started? The websites that you can get started at no cost are Udemy, Skillshare, Teachable, and Thinkific. I've tried all of these and Udemy is hands down my favorite. Skillshare is really good, but they've also unpublished several of my courses and you never really get to understand why. The fifth side hustle that I want to mention is blogging. And before you think it's not for you, I will share with you five ways that you can earn money with blogging. I personally waited a long time on blogging because I thought, oh, it's not for me and I'm not a writer, even though I have books and I just don't see myself writing all the time. And I thought, oh, but then I also need a website and it's complicated. And gosh, I, I, I regret not starting sooner. Yes, you do need a website. And here's the good news. After spending thousands of dollars to, first of all, struggling to create one myself and then hiring people to help me adjust it and improve it and, and, and really make something from it to then finally avoid all the stress and find no hassle website. I'll link to that below because that is literally helping you step by step to create a website within no time. And if you have any issues, they're there for you. So here are the five ways that you can make money blogging. The first one is to add affiliate links into your blog. The second is to display Google ads on your website and on your blog. The third one is to add a link to your dropshipping or the store, wherever, remember the selling digital products, wherever you have a store or a link, or maybe to your courses on Udemy, you link to that to sell your own products through your website as well, like your books and your courses and your digital products. And the last way is to sell your services. Like for me, I'm a coach and I would write something and also relate to my coaching so that through my blogging, they know they can book a call with me and potentially work with me. The money you can make from blogging really depends on how many of these five ways that you are using. And obviously, if there is a high ticket coaching involved or a high ticket program, the more money you can make. But you can easily, and many people have, replaced their full-time income with blogging. Number six is social media management. Now, whether you are on social media yourself or not at all, you can help others with their social media. This side hustle is high in demand and only growing. Now the skills you need here vary from copywriting to posting content to creating posts using design skills, replying to comments, replying to posts, but also managing messenger or researching and analyzing impact and so much more. Typically, Social media managers make between $25 and $50 an hour, but it can easily go over $100 an hour. Where do you get started? You can easily apply for jobs on websites like Indeed or Glassdoor or LinkedIn. But obviously, you can also, as a freelancer, go to Upwork and Fiverr and get a ton of jobs there. And as you know, Upwork is definitely my favorite. So if you want to get started within seven minutes, 
go check that video that I'll link at the end of this video and below as well. The last one I want to mention is one that gives you so many opportunities and that is freelance writing. Yes, I wrote books, you can write books, but the money you can make as a freelance writer is a hundred times easier. Here's why. Your writing skills can be used to write articles in several topics from technical to business to academic to medical articles, but also helping to write instructions, manuals, social media posts. I personally started helping clients with improving their resume, helping them with their cover letter. Now I'm writing speeches and helping them with their TEDx talks. And it's just based on my experience. The money you can make goes from $20 an hour to way over a hundred an hour. Where can you get started? Upwork and Fiverr is where you can get started at no cost and get hired right away. You can make more money as a freelancer on Upwork if you set the right hourly rate and the right profile. And how do you do that? Go and watch my next video that I'll link right here.